there's a lot happening in the geospatial uh, community these days globally. And one of the, the major things that they're talking about is the creation of a geospatial knowledge infrastructure, which is very much connected to the technologies which are embodied in the fourth industrial revolution. So these are technologies like artificial intelligence, big data, multi-platform earth observation and cloud computing, and even high density terrestrial sensor networks. One of the things that we, we uh, talk a lot about are smart cities, digital twins, and, and uh, as concepts uh, which will be used to sort of um, sort of govern the way, I guess, uh, geospatial data and, and, and knowledge is used to manage cities. In the talk I'm going to give at the Landau conference, I'll be discussing some of these some of these aspects, these technologies, and and what they mean actually for or what they might mean for land governance. Um, I don't think we're at a, in a position at the moment to really fully understand what's, what the implications are, but there are certainly certain, a number of questions that can be asked and a number of aspects that need to be thought about critically and discussed. Um, what we see with the adoption of these advanced geospatial uh, technologies is that cities are really at the forefront of these because because of the, the, the great density of, and, and value of the infrastructures that are embodied there and the, the density of populations and, their import, and the importance of cities for economies. So there is a, a very strong focus on, on the urban areas of the world. It's not only, but it's not only the urban areas with, which will be affected. There will also be implications for the uh, more rural, less, so less economically active or uh, important regions of the world as well. What we're doing at the University of Twente, where I work, um, we also have programs on digital twins, for example, and we are, colleagues are doing research on how to create three-dimensional models of, of cities or other environments, uh, how to look at the, the dy dynamics of those of processes uh, that are going on in those areas. But we're also encouraging a, a critical look at what these digital twins actually mean. Um, who decides what is included in the digital twin and what its purpose is and who is more or less an outsider? And what are the implications of the decisions uh, that are taken to when designing such systems? We've seen, these are not perhaps new questions because we these are questions which have been asked for, for many, many years also in relation to public participatory GIS, for example or just mapping in general, where questions about who decides what is mapped, who decides how it is mapped, who decides what, what is the legend, who decides what is important and what is, and what is not important. And these are all really important questions and they, they will affect and they are affecting uh, the way the geospatial knowledge infrastructure is developing, or at least they should Effect, influence the way that this infrastructure develops. So it's important to, and one of the things I'll be trying to do in this uh, lecture is to discuss what the implications are for the urban data scapes which are being created and what implications these may have uh, from a more ethical perspective for land governance issues. I hope to see you at the, at the conference and uh, to have a discussion with you afterwards. Thank you.